I'm Laura McGee. I'm David Farrell. Yes, he is. This is the edit, so let's see what's making the cut this week. Now, David, first, we need to say that, yes, we are talking about Bond today, but this is a spoiler-free zone, isn't it? Absolutely, Laura. No Time to Die has been in the cinema since one minute past midnight on Wednesday night. Cinema's already saying that they've been very busy, but the question, Laura, is... Have you seen it? I've had no time to watch. I am a very busy lady, as you know, David. But the rumour is that you really can't... ...last one, and the producers have held absolutely nothing back. A lot happens. A lot of it involves Leah Sadu, who plays Madeleine Swan, and Bond fans might remember her driving off into the sunset with Bond at the end of Spectre. Um, and chatting to us. Thank you. Oh, that was a really good interview, David, but the best bit <laughs> Thanks, was... <laughs> the best bit was... <laughs> Hello, David. Oh, hello, Laura. Hello, David. I'm going to treasure that for the rest of my life. I think you should put hello, that in your David. showreel. That is, that, that is the only <laughs> thing that I listened to in that entire piece. Thank you very much for doing it. <laughs> okay. But uh, it, we were just hearing there that there's another 007 and it's a strong woman this time. Yeah, absolutely. Lashana Lynch is uh, Nomi. She has the 007 title because James Bond has retired to Jamaica. Jamaica? No, no, she wanted the job. Anyway, the question is... <laughs> Now here we are, it's an edit interview with Natalie Imbruglia, so should we just cut to the chase, David? How many song title puns are you going to be making over the course of this programme? Laura, I think you've really got the wrong impression of me here. I mean, I'm torn as to whether to do the whole song title pun thing, but we'll just leave it, yeah. Yeah, let's just talk about our album, shall we? OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jodie McCallum caught up with her. Now, let's talk about someone who is on fire at the moment. It's not David Farrell, obviously. <laughs> it's Glasgow's own Joseph. Yeah, that's, that's right, Laura. It's not me, it is Joseph. You pick <laughs> things up fast because fire is the name of Joseph's new single. Now, he's been the talk of the town for a wee while. Uh, he's, he's been on the BBC Sound Poll of 2020. He's nominated um, for the Scottish Album of the Year this year. His music's likened to Sam Smith and Amy Winehouse. Mm -hmm. And Laura, are you a fan of a sad boy banger? I have to admit, I have no idea what that is. Right, OK, well, let's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, great uh, Pat Butcher impression 10 there. out of 10 for that, Joseph. <laughs> He's talking about all the, the kids that are going to transmit and watching there, a little bit of worse uh, for wear. I, I, David, is never, that your experience of transmit? I have never seen that at a music festival in my life. No, no, you're That's obviously... What he's talking about. You're always well behaved and oh, always uh, you know in work mode, I guess. Uh, yes, ever the professional. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's what we say. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so much to say and do and so little time. That's been the edit. David and Amy will be with you next week. Have a lovely evening. <laughs> Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>